Throwing <laughs> garbage in our good fit. Oh, it's me! It's me, I'm in here. Every time! Every time! It's actually, it's funny, because it could either be interpreted as one of the extremes. Mm -hmm. uh, you only either live one. once, so be very, very careful, or you only live once. Might as well do whatever the yeah. fuck. Lonely Island actually made a song that did, uh, did a parody of being extra careful, because most people take it as the, uh, like, oh, you might as well live it up, bro. Yeah. Fucking, yeah, you can totally, you can dive off that mountain, whatever. <laughs> it's cool. It's actually one thing... Like, I, don't get me wrong, I like Suicide Silence. Mm -hmm. That's one of the things I found extremely ironic. <laughs> is that Mitch, he, Mitch Lucker, yeah. Mitch Lucker wrote that song, You Only Live, you only live Once. But did the plant just grow twice? It did, that was very strange. And it was when you jumped again, too. Was, that was weird. It's like you almost hit an invisible block to make it grow a second time. Shit, I don't think I can you do can, it. No, you can do it. You can okay, do it. You the right. Jump out around. You can actually, you can make that jump, trust me. I've done it. Yeah. Oh, yes. Yeah, Mitch, as soon as I sound like Mitch Lucker wrote the song, You Only Live Once, and then died shortly after. Because he was doing like a, I'm, I wasn't just like waving my arms around because I'm crazy. There's a fly in here. Yeah, it's definitely. bugging it's, the shit out of me. It's been bugging me too. Huh? I, I, I want to kill it. it, but I can't. I saw it other people. I'm out so of my slow. Peripherals. But here, and he know, died like he died. He was drunk and I think riding a motorcycle or whatever. But like a lot of people who knew him were like, well, I mean that's how he lived basically, right? You know? Shit. That was his like philosophy. You know, I actually really like that song, even though it's like yeah. a cliche. Here's the, phrase here's the thing. Whatever. Like when I first heard about it, like people neglected to mention that he was drunk and riding a motorcycle. Let's do it one more time. One yeah. more time. So I, I um, I heard that he died in a car accident and stuff, I was like, oh, that's terrible, whatever. And then I found out later that he not only was driving drunk, but that he, did, he didn't have anywhere to be. He was apparently driving drunk on his motorcycle for fun. And was it for fun? I thought it was because he and his wife got in an argument, and then he was, like, uh, trying to just get away from the situation. Oh, uh, well, possibly. But either way, either way, that's still... Greatly endangering anyone else. It is, yeah, yeah. It's a dumb, it's a dumb thing to drive drunk, <laughs> regardless. And like, normally I would say like, when that person is driving drunk. They died. They were endangering other people. Good to get him out of the gene pool. But then when I heard about uh, Mitch Lucker doing, I was like, I was like, why should I think any different about him? And I was like, that's. You should like, still I gotta feel like fair. you should still feel empathy, I guess. Even yeah, though like people I'm make not, mistakes I'm not, and everything. But... I'm not happy that he died, but I'm glad that he died without hurting anyone else first. If that makes sense. Did he, did like, he run into the back of like an 18 wheeler or something? I don't know. Like, but, like imagine, imagine if he was driving drunk and he'd have hit like someone with a family and killed their kids or something. That would have been fucking. <laughs> oh my god! Like, I jumped right into that. <laughs> wow. Like, as much as I like Suicide uh, Silence and Mitch Luck, like, like, I'm sure he would understand. He had a daughter. Yeah, he did. Yeah, so, he like, had a family, imagine, dude. Yeah, imagine if he, like he he would probably feel like the same way. I I feel like anyway. Like, like for sure, it's like it's definitely a good thing that he was the only one. He was the only casualty. Yeah, exactly. Like in terms of like, if there had to be a casualty, only one is like the best, obviously. Yeah, exactly. And it was it was the it was the person who was the cause of it, not like if there's a casualty, I'd rather be yeah, the person who only, caused it. No, not, not yeah. Not like he hit someone and ended up killing them. They died, but he um, lived. Yeah. That'd granted, if you hit someone on a motorcycle, you're probably not kind of killing anyone else. But Unless yourself. they were on like a bike. <laughs> <laughs> but like, but like. If he's dumb enough to drive drunk on a motorcycle, who's to say he's not dumb enough to drive drunk? Mm. In, a, in a car, which would easily kill someone else. But, but yeah, um... Oops. I 
keep. I cannot Dude, hold on to this thing. What are you doing? With I your cannot life? hold on. Your to the entire life is a sham. It is. <laughs> <laughs> you were taught how to hold controls wrong. <laughs> <laughs> like, <clears throat> man, I myself don't have a family, so I guess I can't really exactly feel it. What other people would? I know. I know Jared doesn't have family either. Oh, I, mean, <laughs> I, mean, I come I, from a broken home. <laughs> I, I mean, I don't have like a wife and kids. I mean, I have your own family, yeah. basically. Yes. I have. I have that parents. Spawn. I have parents and cousins and sisters Obviously. and stuff. Yeah. I love very much, but um, but yeah, I, don't, I myself don't have like a child and a wife, but imagine that if someone were drunk and ended up killing that family, I would be absolutely irate. Oh, of course, yeah. Uh, beyond irate. Um, shit, you landed again. Yeah, you're right in between them. That is like the threading the needle for death. How are you doing that? <laughs> I would be irate beyond, beyond words. <laughs> I know the people out there with kids like you can't even understand the pain you would feel. It's like I, like you're right. I wouldn't, but I know I know for a fact that just from concepts of loss, <laughs> yeah. of losing things that you already have, and I know that those things are far more valuable than anything I would ever understand. And even even losing like the most valuable thing that I have. Yeah, what the fuck? Like oh shit, then I like, fail on this. What do, you, what do you think, what do you think the most valuable thing you have is? Thing? Yes. Not, like, not relationship-wise or people-wise or whatever? Well, I, mean, well, I guess since we're talking about exactly relatives and stuff like that, yes. Um, Person-wise? Yeah, like, like even your dad, your mom. Jesus. Um, that's a tough question. <laughs> I don't want to prioritize <laughs> my family. <laughs> well, I don't mean like that, but I mean like... <laughs> I'm gonna be like, you love your mom or your dad? Yeah, yeah. Well, choose one, bro. <laughs> that's not Fuck what you. <laughs> that's not what I mean, but like. You have a little sister too, would you feel bad if she died? <laughs> oh my god. <clears throat> okay, actually, yeah. Okay. What exactly would you mean then? <laughs> that's actually. You, you questioned my question with a good question. Okay, okay. <laughs> I, was, I was wondering where you were going with that. <laughs> Fucking you little bitch. <laughs> that's, not, that's not what I meant. <laughs> There's a coin block in here, I believe. Yeah, there is. Oh, nice. <laughs> I didn't even know about that, actually. <laughs> There's so it. many secrets in this game. I know. <laughs> like, we, we can't relate to having like, our own... Children. Yeah. Our own wife and children. So I like, understand, what, but like... What do you think the next thing up would be besides current... current living relatives? It wouldn't be a thing for me, it'd be the ability to do a thing. Exactly. Okay, so what about this? If a drunk driver hit you and you lost the... Like my arms or something? Yeah, you, you lost your mobility in both your arms so you couldn't play guitar like, anymore. Yeah, play guitar or like surf the web conveniently. How fucking pissed would you be? That'd be pretty shitty, man. That'd be so shitty. Would you not want to kill that person just because they... <sighs> just, just for one night of their life, they decided to neglect any kind of a reason. And oh, for sure. That would that'd be awful, dude. I'd be so pissed at that. <clears throat> yeah, exactly. It's just like, a, from what I imagine, imagine that time's like tenfold. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that kind of loss. <laughs> Although, like you said, relatives, I feel like that's pretty close, honestly, to a child loss or something like that. Like your parents, I imagine. Yeah. That's like, oh, sure. especially if you have a good relationship with your parents, too. Which, I mean, from what I understand, you do. I don't know a whole lot I about do, you. I do, I do, yeah. Um, actually, I get along great with both my parents, as a matter of fact. Yeah. Um, like, my my parents are cool enough to let us practice death metal and shit in their <laughs> <Like that>. shit. <laughs> don't worry, I'll get this power. Oh, <laughs> shit. <laughs> right down the drain. Allow me to get all, all kinds of swole. <laughs> all kinds of swole. Yeah! I cannot do that! You got it a couple times, I think. I got it once. This whole time we played, I got it once. Really? At least yeah. one time? I got a pee again. Okay. Uh, it's finally catching up with you good. 
Now I don't feel like the only dude you are. You're having a time walking. I'm talking about serious topics now. I'm coming in. <laughs> Beat so quick. It was so fast. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, here we go. I'm sitting down. Okay. Oh. Actually, I've been kind of like feeling lately enough that I don't. <laughs> lately enough. I've been feeling lately that I don't show my appreciation for my parents enough. I kind of get that sometimes too. Yeah. Kind of like. Like you go through phases where you like. Something hits you and you realize, like, oh, I was kind of shitty to that person. Or I wasn't necessarily shitty, but I just didn't show. That yeah. I cared like, enough. I don't feel like I've ever really been shitty to my parents, but I feel like, uh, like, oh, I guess, oh, oh, <laughs> wow, oh, I oh guess, oh my god, whoa, I guess it kind of hits me every once yeah. in a while, like, I'm limited on this earth as are they, yep, and oh, like, they are, oh, no. and, like, and like, there will be a time when I'll be on this earth living the rest of my life, but they aren't here. Yeah, that's a bummer. Yeah. And I like, that's kind of a shitty feeling. And I feel like, oh my god, I almost, I almost made that without any kind of like inertia. And I feel, <laughs> I feel like I should, like, what's this? <laughs> I'm gonna be a, why well, am extra life? Sweet. I'm gonna be, I've tried that before. It didn't no. work. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I tried that before. I'm gonna be a little bit of an open book here. I feel like, <clears throat> Like my, me and my dad, like I, I feel like me and my father understand each other pretty, pretty well. I feel the same way with me and my dad. Yeah, we're very, very similar in terms of people. I've even had people tell me to the point where like you talk like your dad, you act like your dad, like you just what you do with your hands, uh, your speech inflections, like everything is just like your fucking dad. Yeah. And I've even <laughs> your fucking dad, bro. Your fucking dad is <laughs> just like you. <laughs> what the fuck, dude? <laughs> but then, even just from hanging out with my own grandfather, uh -huh. uh, like my dad's dad, my dad's parents were divorced, and so his his dad and his mo mother are apart. But just from hanging out with like his dad, a lot really, of really, wow. yeah. So I actually have like three sets of grandparents technically. It's um, cool because I had like four or five. Yeah, one set is totally dead. Um, Love them, by the way. Uh, they were great. Uh, my dad's mother. You might want to just end the oh, one. right. I'll pause, I'll pause the next one. Right, right, right. My dad's mother and the rest of her family are alive. My dad's father and the rest of her family, family are alive. My dad's, uh, not my dad's, my mother's. Both my mother's parents were both dead. Uh, mostly, from what I understand, like, I didn't, sadly enough, I didn't really get to see either of them before they died. But they, uh, from what I understand, because I was, was kind of younger, a little bit younger, uh, was from, but mostly from, like, smoking complications, like heart attacks and, like, lung problems and stuff. And I still smoke, which is, like, actually retarded for me. Uh, do you actually? <laughs> yeah. Uh, off and on, kind of. Yeah, like, I was gonna I, say, cause I, I haven't seen you smoking since our last practice, actually. Yeah, you, 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 you haven't I smoked just, at all right now. Yeah, which I just, normally happens with like drinking, especially. <laughs> yeah, I just bought a pack like yesterday, oh, okay. which is like the first time I put once, but off and on, kind of. And I think that that's kind of why it is off and on to me. So my mother has actually talked to me before. She's like, both my parents are dead from like smoking problems. And she's like, I don't want to see that same thing happen. Like my my yeah. child, whatever. Yeah, my grandfather like, actually died from emphysema. Yeah, well. exactly. Like actual like smoking stuff. So like, my dad kind of gave me the same talk, and I was like, Yep. Yeah, you yeah. know what? <laughs> I'm fucking done. I don't want to do that anymore. <clears throat> and I still kind of do it off and on, which is still kind of silly of me, but I'm still like conscious of it. Like I'll, I'll buy a pack and I'll smoke it, and I'm like, All right, that's that's like out of my system for like three months or whatever. Mm -hmm. And then I'll, I'll get another pack of order. Which I shouldn't even really do that. I'm not endorsing smoking. Uh, it's your choice, whatever. Fuck it. It is, but yeah. Waste of money. Yeah, sort of. Waste of money and your own lifetime. 
yeah. which cannot be walked back for anything. Uh, but from, from what I've heard, though, like two years worth of smoking can still be repaired by your lungs. So if you smoke for like extended period over two years, then you do like irreversible damage. Mm. But not justifying myself, but <clears throat> just saying, yeah. just saying. Uh, that's not proven either, by the way. Uh, what was the hell was I getting at? Oh yeah, both my parents are dead. Uh, both my grandparents. Are dead. Grandparents. Grandparents. Yeah, yeah. So my mom told me she didn't want to see that happen to her own child, and I was like, yeah. okay, hang on. Like, yeah. I don't want to do that to you, I guess. It's kind of like laid off on it. Whenever I do buy a pack, I'm trying to tell her. <laughs> oh yeah. yeah. <laughs> just, just to not, not like I'm like hiding it, but just like I don't want to. A little bit, I guess. Yeah. Or feel like but, a disappointing yeah, parents or something, because that sucks. But yeah, 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 true. Um, man, what was I getting at? That you're gonna actually start doing the male pornography and your parents endorse it entirely. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> it's complete 180. <laughs> Surprisingly. <laughs> Pornography, cool with parents. <laughs> Surprisingly, your father wants to see your naked cunt on video. <laughs> That's horrible. That's horrible. I completely, completely forget that. Um, oh my god. As much porn as I watch, I do not endorse it, actually, oddly enough. Um, <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's like, if you're already into it, good. But if you're not into it, then... Don't don't reduce yourself to that. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> kind of like, like like starting like acting in porn or whatever. Yeah, I or guess. Or watching it. Or what? Yeah, I guess we're watching it even. Okay. Um. Not that I'm like. I'm not gonna say like oh yeah don't don't look at boobies or touch your wiener it's evil. <laughs> but, <laughs> but yeah, I guess. Um. Actually, what, what exactly is a what's the word I'm looking for here? Socks. <laughs> yeah, I wonder about them. Dude, I don't understand how that's still going. It, like, the air no, no, no. That it can, that it can rock the Aquafina bottle. Yeah. Even when my Aquafina bottle was more full, it still was rocking it. Sorry, porn. That is not even what I was talking about. To begin with. That's a whole other subject. Okay. Um, I was talking about like family members dying from smoking. Yeah. <laughs> like you are. Um, oh, my, my, I was talking about my, my grandfather. Mm -hmm. Hanging out with my grandfather. My grandfather is pretty much just like my dad. Got it. In certain ways. Like the way he talks, the way he acts. Um, they're both kind of like, as my cousin would put it, tinkerers. Like, you go to my uh, my grandfather's house, and he's, like, working on a tractor or something, and, like, screwing with it. He won't be satisfied until that tractor is running again. And that's kind of, like, how my dad is. Like, he'll go uh, to my parents' house and have, like, a tractor or something that's working on There's so something that he's doing that I feel like he won't really be completely satisfied until it's operating the way he wants it to. If that makes sense. Yeah. They both kind of have that mentality. And I even inherited that myself with uh, kind of like a different generation. Like with my, my dad and his dad, it's kind of like more like a mechanical thing, like tractors, cars. Like my dad was kind of like a motorhead. He's always had cool cars like that Volkswagen Beetle, that uh, yep. that like dune buggy, that um, that Jeep, a really nice Jeep. Um, he actually had a, a Dodge Charger a while back. I don't think I knew. I don't know if I saw that. Yeah, you don't think you ever saw that. You know, Dodge Charger That's was really awesome. nice. That was, that was a sweet car. He, actually, he sold that to a 16 year old to like fix it up and actually like brought it back and showed it to him like a couple years later oh, what really? they did to it. Which is really cool. Like no one does that, that with a really used cool. car. That was really cool then to do that. Yeah. But um <clears throat> I'm talking so fast. I never do this. Whatever. Um but yeah. But for me it's like a different generation where it's more like a um, kind of like a what's it called the digital era, yeah. Where it's like if I have something with like a game that I'm working on, code or something that's not functioning correctly, I won't be satisfied until that's fixed. Kind of like the server, yeah. Where it wasn't the server kept crashing for the game I was working on. Exactly. 
and I kept messing with him. Yeah, so, uh, I kept pestering this poor bastard. To, like, <laughs> poor bastard. Like he was in short. <laughs> like I always feel like I'm pestering you. Like every time, like I have something. You're to not fix. at all, dude. Well, I feel like it, but I like, literally even have even if I better. know up here that it's not like really a pest. Yeah. But I'm just kind of like. I just texted him yesterday about the same problem. Like he's probably like, "Did you fix this shit yet? You stupid fuck!" Like <laughs> you still bugging me about this stupid shit. God damn it! But yeah, <laughs> I have like a oh, oh like like I was saying, the server has a, a bug that it kept crashing. I wasn't satisfied. Like wasn't wasn't satisfied or uh, happy or whatever whatever you want to call it until that was fixed, until it was working the way I wanted it to, the way I, the way I thought it should. Which I feel is kind of like the, kind of like speaking for my parents and stuff here, but I feel like that's not, I feel like that's the same mentality, but just in like a different era. It is, yeah, it is. And uh, my dad, even though he doesn't really understand like uh, coding or computers or anything like that, he still uh, expressed like a, uh, he was like, if I was born in your time, he was like, I'd probably find this pretty interesting. Mm -hmm. Like, this this kind of creative thing. Well, it's still the same mentality of tinkering. Yeah, exactly. Say. Exactly. The same mentality of tinkering. It's just a different era. Yep. Same thing. And so, uh, I feel like I can kind of relate, relate that kind of thing to my parents. But I don't feel like, uh, I think my original point is I don't think that I show a lot of appreciation for them enough. That was an original point, yep. That's where a lot of this branched off from. <laughs> yeah. What a fucking rabbit hole. You went really far <laughs> out, I went really far. <laughs> well, that was a, like a huge... <laughs> like, uh, if you had a map of Europe, and this was like fucking Germany. You sailed around the whole thing. Here's like, uh, what's really far away from Germany? Like, uh... Like in Japan. <laughs> East Russia or something. <laughs> East Russia? <laughs> I don't even know. But yeah, Japan, uh, whatever. What's the whole way around? But yeah, like I feel like a, like me, me and my father have kind of like I feel like it's almost like an understanding for each other, but we don't really, I don't really say like uh, like I feel like it would feel weird if I were to say like I love you to my dad or something like that. I can kind of I can understand that. Yeah, saying that like <laughs> often, it's yeah. kind of like it's a, it's a weird thing. It's almost a stigmatized thing or something in society. Even uh, like if I'm on the phone with my mom, like I'll say I love you every time we're at. Exactly, because it's like natural. It's natural. I natural. don't say that to my dad. Yeah. Even though like I do the same thing, dude. Exactly. Yeah. Even though it's like, like, if, if my dad were to disappear, I'd be like, fucking, what do I do Broken, with the rest of my yeah. life? Yeah. <laughs> like <laughs> that kind of thing. <clears throat> yeah, that's uh. I think that's where I was heading with that the yeah. whole time. <laughs> like a little little background. Quite the thing. point. While the, while the air conditioner was on, all of this, so no one will hear any of that. It just, <laughs> <laughs> just cut out to you like, I don't say I love you to my dad. <laughs> <laughs> and then we're like, all right, this guy's a dick. Air conditioner shut off like right at the end. Why would it do that? <laughs> right on time. Oh my god. Hmm. <laughs> yeah, I'm, a, I'm glad you actually had a combo. No, yeah, I completely get that as well. Yeah. Because, like, you never, you don't even, like, do you hug your dad and stuff? I really don't. I don't, some, like, I never really did until, like, I lived away from them. And then you started? I and now, now when I visit them, like, it's kind of like a, like, I'll hug them when I leave and stuff, but I yeah. still don't say, like, I don't like hugging, like, yeah, I love you, dad. Like, it's not like a... I don't know what that is, dude. It's like, it's almost, it's this male thing. It's almost like a no homo, bro. Like, it is. It's, like, it's, like, like, it's like, a, it's like a stupid, know. it's a stupid male mentality, something that we're, yeah. like, ingrained with. I don't know. It's something that we gotta get past, I think. <clears throat> it's like a pride thing. I don't know. Because it's weird that we can say that to our moms, but not our Yeah, it's, like, I feel like in the past, maybe... Ten years, maybe a little bit shorter. The closest I've come to saying I love you to my dad was when I was like, a, I'd be like leaving my parents' house and I'd be walking out the door and I'd be like, I love you guys. Yeah, guys. Like, like, in general, I love you guys. Because <laughs> it applies to both. Yeah. Because exactly. yeah. that's kind of like a you know yeah lumping you in there, right? You know. Yeah. Even before I went like on the trip or whatever, I was just like, hey, see ya, basically. <laughs> 
<laughs> Man, I'll be taking off. I'll see you guys later. <laughs> it's nothing like. I don't know. And maybe, maybe that's not even something to be worried about. Maybe it's just like an understood thing. Like maybe. Maybe it I don't could even be, need to say same. it. Maybe he, yeah. maybe he just knows. But It could be. I mean, I think they probably feel the same way too, but it's like. I don't know. I don't know. I think it is an understood thing. I just don't think. Maybe men just don't need to vocalize it as much to each other. I think that's because it's more like more yeah. more of an action based type uh, breed of human, I guess. Yeah. Maybe I don't know. I don't know. It's kind of a it's a weird, it's something to think about. Put it that way. It is. Yeah, that's a good thought. Yeah. Do you want to? Do you go? <laughs> yeah, like I'm ready. <laughs> right, three, two, one, go. That was an insane <laughs> rabbit hole. <laughs> That was like the deepest. Oh, like we, we can't even keep gaming when we're like doing stuff. We're like we're the shittiest. Like, <laughs> oh, how do you how do you play something this lighthearted and like yeah well, have a well, really intense conversation? I don't, I don't know. know. I don't know. I guess I guess it's possible, but I just I can't. It's right tough. Now. It's tough to focus. Yeah. Well, yeah. Actually, we're admin drunk on top of everything, so that's not helping at all. I'm drunk and trying to make these like really deep. Points. <laughs> yeah, exactly. But then again, like, if I wasn't drunk, I probably wouldn't even be saying something like that. Exactly. Because I won't, like, you just wouldn't feel the need to say it. Especially to random people or something. Yeah, exactly. thing is, I don't, like, I don't know. I guess I'm oh, not drunk what, enough why to why just am I share again? Because I died permanently. Oh. I lost my like, overall, like, <laughs> my overall, like, <laughs> my overall. Because I have, like, a. I have a spamming lifespan. <laughs> I guess, like, it's kind of strange. It's like, my view of, like, uh, alcohol is kind of good. Yeah. Like, I understand that alcohol can be, like, a completely, like, life-destroying life substance. Mm hmm But, um, I also understand that, like, in proper moderation. Oh shit! That, oh, that was perfect. Wow, that was that really was, wow. They they timed that for sure. <laughs> yeah, they definitely. definitely timed that. They play tested and they're like, yeah, that's the dicks. <clears throat> Do this again or something else? Yeah, why not? Fuck again? It. Okay. Yeah. One more try, I guess. Keep going with your point, by the way. Yeah. Um, like alcohol can be a totally destructive thing, and I think that. I, I kind of grew up in like a Christian house, and like uh, being drunk and stuff is like like severely frowned upon. Mm -hmm. um, you tried like drinks beer, but like not uh, obviously not yeah. like doesn't get I mean, hammered or anything. Like <laughs> yeah, um, I've never really been like the party type. Me neither. Don't really believe in that. Like this is like the perfect setting for me. I love this. Um, Games and drinking are yeah. like the best. This is awesome. Like <clears throat> like I will admit. I'm drunk, mm -hmm. but I've I've only engaged in this activity knowing knowing that uh, like what's the word I'm for? Knowing limits. Kind of. Yeah. Like uh, there's there's not really like anything here that can like I don't have uh, like it's just me and Jared. We're here in a confined area. Um, yeah, we're, yeah, we're doing this in a controlled environment, dude. Yeah, a control oh, thank you. That's a controlled yeah. environment. Damn it. <clears throat> Actually, pass me another, another alcohol. Another alcohol. I want one more alcohol. <laughs> and it can be kind of, kind of good in the sense that, like, I never would have, uh, I never would have expressed these kind of thoughts before. It's true. It's good to actually get this stuff out. Especially yeah. if you don't talk with this stuff, like, I, don't, I typically don't go too deep with most friends, actually, at all. Yeah, me, me either. Uh, like, at all. I don't, ever. <clears throat> then again, I don't have many friends that I really talk with. So. Me either, but once again, yeah. those, friends, <laughs> yeah. those, those friends that I do have, I never really... Like, yep. I've, I've never met, like, any of the points or thoughts I've just made, I've, I don't think I've ever said to anyone else, ever. Um, I feel honored then. That's awesome. Well, there you go. <laughs> That's the alcohol, bro. You're not special. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> Just kidding. But uh.
taking over this cast. 4-2. Hopefully I can get to 8-1. And actually do something that matters. I suppose I'm gonna upload this on the Dual 36 channel and trash is fine over the AC.